Good afternoon and greetings to the Chromium Winds and welcome to the epicenter of marching music on Sunday, April 23, and that would be the UD Arena on the campus of University of Dayton for the World Championship Finals and WGI Wins for 2017. That's an auspicious thing to say, and this is an excited Joe Allison from the School of Music at Eastern Kentucky University. Cannot wait to react to your performance in the context of an overall analysis where I sit up here with a dress to the judging panel and just talk to you about why I'm enjoying what you're doing. Might offer you a suggestion or two, or certainly some encouragement, and just generally share the time with worthy, worthy participants, if I am, that is. I know you are, so good luck. I'm glad you're here. Okay, you're on. Boy, I'm really impressed with the set design and the depth, almost Escher-esque, and the the black and white color palette that certainly presents its share of presence in the way that you antiphonize that opening statement both in musical color and placement very cool nice quality sound almost a heartbeat motive that underlines something beautiful Davisi upper woodwinds oh yeah vibrato speeds being a very mature concept good for you yeah it's very warm introspective sounds and then watching the the angst physically, that, that just creates a level of attention that's almost uh, parallel to what we're hearing in terms of musical craftsmanship. And excellent pacing of the intensification. Bravo, conical bore brass. Don't get much better than that, does it? Yeah. Quality sound. I love it that you turn around and instead of assaulting us with nastiness, you turn around and bathe us in sonority. Thank you. And then the, oh yeah, thank you for having the control to create depth and sonority even when you're not playing loud. All the musical basis, basics, I should say, that you're very comfortable with, obviously. Cool. Yeah. It's about music. Thank you. It's what it ought to be about, in my opinion, but, you know. Uh, character change certainly is quick. <laughs> Not completely sold on the, the depth of the, abs the abstractions in terms of the body gestures and the woodwind thing. I, I'm just not sure I completely understand the context of each thing. But maybe that's not the point. <laughs> wow. The offhand thing. <laughs> that's unsettling. <laughs> of course, I'm sure it's intended as such. Excellent imitation of the VC groups and the the long and short alternations. Tasteful playing in the rhythm section, by the way. And I have to tell you, it's an absolute riot to look back there and see a kit drummer, an accessory drummer, and a bassoonist. I mean, how, how often does that happen? What's next, a serpent? Oh, cool. So almost like one of those Wayne Shorter Groove things established by the aforementioned bassoonist. Yay. Bassoon and pick, dig it. I do. I'm loving the balance that you have of moving through space in, in terms of traditional ways, but then in terms of more theatrical ways. I think that's one of the challenges, biggest challenges that our, our new medium faces is to learn how to, to deal with that relationship. Uh, cool control of the figuration and the inner textures. That's downright funky, children. Yep. <laughs> I love the, the accessory percussionist using her hair as a prop. <laughs> You just reek of personality. Love that. But nothing's ever excessive. Is it lice? A neat drama unfolding in terms of the layered harmony. 
Increasing tempo, yeah, all the tropes. Oh, neat shaping of the punctuations and the preparations. You guys are just worked out. And there's nothing about this angular harmony or terse progression that you don't handle professionally. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, much more triumphant, major tonality, et cetera. But the solo gesture is still very anguished, so how does that work? But she disappears, of course. Oh, yeah. Nobody's rushed. Everybody's, the, the, the groove's right in the pocket. You are so cool. Get it in the center there, the other one. Bass baritone, getting that to match that unison with the tube. That's kind of tough, particularly that volume, particularly at the end of a show where you've been moving around like crazy. Yeah, listen to the audience. And you know what's the greatest thing about the audience reaction? More than anything else, they're reacting to the quality of your authentic musicianship that you create theater through musical performance of substantive and a variety of materials. I mean, all the visual stuff certainly enhances that and whatnot, but what made you different is your musicianship, so thank God for that. Uh, so, if you're going to be a leader in this medium, and obviously you are, I love the fact that you're establishing your own identity, your own brand, the reserve that you have, the quality with which you, you approach the medium. And I hope that'll constantly be your guide as you innovate in terms of what you're doing musically and visually and every other way. But I just love it when, when it's, it's about music, and it obviously was. So thank you so much. Take care.